it's nothing now. Are you all ready to join me today in our trip to outer space? Come along quietly or not. You can have all the talent in the world and never get anywhere. Some farmers make a hook let you bite upon it. And now, without further ado, Okay, folks, welcome to yet another episode of Planet Shivers Podcast. I'm Albert Shivers, here with Isaac Wilson on sound. And our special guest today is a visual artist who works in multiple mediums, does realism portraits so real you think they can jump out and bite you. He's done Johnny Cash, Robin Williams, Red Fox, De Niro, King, Elvis, and even Frankenstein. Thanks for doing the show, Jose Rivera. Thank you for it's good having to have me. you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm, I'm was as soon as I seen your stuff, I was so excited to have you on. Thank you, mm. thank you, appreciate it. So we'll jump to the beginning, I guess. And so, like, what got you started in art, and around what time? Um, I I, I was drawing since I can remember. I absolutely since I can remember. But um, I believe it was my my stepfather helped me once with a school project and he painted some type fruit whatever and I was mm-hmm. amazed I thought it was incredible took it to school of course I didn't paint it but <laughs> you know what I mean it right. just it just put a battery in my back and I was like I I, I want to try this and and I was pretty good at it so you know I, I got good feedback on whenever I drew so mm-hmm. you know that launched me yeah, positive, positive, positive feedback. Yeah, positive oh, feedback. It, it launched me. So, yeah, and um, I've never stopped. <laughs> yeah, I've never stopped. So, but it, my main thing was um, cartoons. I, you know, I, I grew up okay. drawing cartoons, Popeye, oh, okay. Flintstones, and everything. So, yeah, that's that's he. He definitely was my first influence mm-hmm. on on this art thing. You know, and I would say I was probably like seven, seven or eight years old. Gotcha. So, yeah. And you started to recreate the cartoons that you oh, that yeah. you like. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and then you know it turns into drawing my own cartoons. Okay. You know, in high school, I used to draw comic strips. And oh, nice. Pass them around, and it was it was fun. I always had fun with it. Mm-hmm. Know, drawing on everything I can. <laughs> Did you read comics at the time? Um. Yes, absolutely. Um, Marvel, DC. Okay. Yeah. Um, definitely. I was a big cartoon head. I, okay. every, everything was cartoons in my life. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. It was pretty fun. Cause then what eventually got you into um, doing portraits? And, and portraits, yeah. Um, well, uh, maybe like, I would say like seven years ago, my daughter um, asked me if I could do a portrait for her. Mm-hmm. Didn't really, I haven't touched portraits in a long time. I still would you know, dabble. Right. I and mean, I wasn't taking it serious whatsoever. I just knew I could draw and you know, it was on the shelf. So she had asked me to draw um a lead singer, I I forget the band, um, for one of the groups she listened to and she posted okay. it on her Facebook and right. her Facebook page lit up. Mm. And um <laughs> you know, my daughter comes to me the next day and she says, Dad, look you know, and um that sparked something in me. She mm. said, Maybe you should start doing these yeah so and it, and it took off from there that was it i had no turning back right mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so yeah. about how long ago was that oh maybe like six seven years ago okay at least at least six seven years ago okay gotcha you know, before i was like you know let me let me dig deeper into this and then i did my homework and see um looked up you know um certain artists mm-hmm. that were doing portraiture and right. um i i came across an artist named Kelvin Okafor and this looked like a photograph and I said I'm, I'm aiming for that so, right and to this day I still <laughs> to this day I definitely still am so so who were some so you mentioned one were there, what are some other artists that, that, that you look to me. that inspire you yeah um I've been inspired by well I, I like all art. The right. thing is, is that I, I'm so all over the place. Mm-hmm. Um, portraiture was definitely um, this Kelvin Okafor, and there's another, another. I, I, it's a group of them. Um, I think his name is Arnese. Arnese. He's, um, I believe he's um, Guyanese or something. 
Okay. Incredible. These guys draw like super incredible. But then, you know, there was Banksy and I like the yeah. old masters and impressionists mm -hmm. and every, everything pretty much inspired me. Just gotcha. art. Yeah, I'm all over the place when it comes with that. Yeah, <laughs> no, as am I. Yeah. Did you have any schooling in art? Um, no. I, okay. I, well, I went to, you know, regular high school art right, yeah. class. Didn't do too well. <laughs> because okay. because I wanted to draw what I wanted. I didn't follow right. the lessons. I just wanted to draw. Right. Draw well, I, was, I went to um, an intermediate school on Staten Island mm -hmm. that was for the arts. Yeah. And I had to apply in the whole bit. And I didn't do well either for the same reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I just, it just wasn't, I wasn't interested yeah. in the, the assignments given to me. You know, and in all fairness, though, she was, she she told me I was very talented. She mm -hmm. she didn't completely fail me. Right. But she just wished I would follow what she was doing. Right. And I totally, <laughs> totally right. didn't. I just <laughs> was not interested at all. Gotcha. So, you yeah. So... We'll stick on the portraiture just for a little bit longer. Um, two questions on that. So, yeah. what materials do you use to make those portraits, and what paper do you use? Okay. Um, well, when I first started, I started with the Strathmore um, Ivory Tone, mm -hmm. um, which has like a little grit to it. Um, less forgiving, you know. It's it's kind of less forgiving when when trying to take away. Mm -hmm. but wonderful paper and now I use a smooth Bristol board okay um, that's um, the Canson. same thing Canson, I use yeah. yep and um the results come quicker and um, a lot more forgiving paper you know um but yeah that's that's pretty much it Canson um Bristol board smooth yeah, yeah no yeah, it's, yeah, I yeah. recently just started using that because yeah. the paper I use got discontinued really and yeah. I was like oh because yeah, I yeah. was so used to it, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, absolutely. And I found the Bristol board and, and really dig it's, it. Yeah, it's really good. I, I love it. Yeah, just pause for a quick second, just so you could see Isaac. This is oh, yeah. um, Jose's Instagram, just so you can get an idea of what we're talking just about. Holy shit! <laughs> you see De Niro in here? Oh, yeah, check him out. It's like this it's fucking photograph, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, they love that one. The, Oh, this no, guy. no, 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 no. That oh, guy, I've gotten so many requests yeah. for him. Yeah, yeah, I sold him for 10 bucks. That was the oh, first, yeah. that was the actual first portrait I ever sold was um, Bob oh, wow. Marley. Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. 10 bucks, and I thought I robbed the guy. <laughs> I actually wow. thought I robbed him. I was like, oh, I felt bad. Hmm. But uh turns out that, yeah, he robbed the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the lessons we yeah, learn, man. Yeah, That's, yeah. Especially like when when you I come at, at it in the beginning from the same direction of like, you know, you don't know and you don't want to like yes, be too yes, much and pre, yes, be yeah. like pretentious mm -hmm, and all these mm -hmm. things. So absolutely. you end up under underselling yeah, yourself. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. You know, and that's a struggle I think for every artist. Yeah. On what's your worth or what's not not necessarily your worth, but you know. Mm -hmm. The time and effort, and, and these take long, you know what I mean? No, oh, yeah. Out, yeah. yeah. So, you know, I've come to a point where I'm like, you know, I'm definitely underselling, but I do sell them for, they're not cheap, right. but they're not crazy as well. Right. You know, sometimes you, you push what you can mm -hmm. to see if they bite. You could tell by the customer. You could tell by the customer, too. I'm right. fair. I'm, I'm very fair, you know, and I tell them, what are you looking at in and, right. you know, what price are you looking at? So, yeah. But no, you know, not any circumstance do I lessen the art. I, I give them my 100%, regardless mm -hmm. what they're going to pay for. Right. Because you know? uh, it is, it's an abstract process yeah. to price because it's, you know, it's, it, it's you, it's the time you put into that piece that you're selling. Yeah. And, but it's also like every piece that came before mm -hmm. that, that gave you the ability to do to that do last that one. one. Every, yeah. every piece and you probably know this is something different mm -hmm. it's never the same well, not, not mm -hmm. for me anyway it's it's a new learning experience hair is different sometimes yeah. the pores are different you know mm -hmm. what i mean and depending on the quality of your reference too yeah you know big time i, I hate i hate adding <laughs> in I, I really do mm -hmm. that's that's horrible i like to see what i'm drawing right you know Right. But sometimes you gotta work with what you got. Make it yeah. fuzzy a little bit. Right. <laughs> yeah. Shave yeah. it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Hope nobody mm -hmm. sees it. <laughs> right, yeah. mm -hmm. So, 
they're like from doing now like my portraiture is is definitely not the same as yours but there are certain things that like i look at there are certain things that will bring a face together in art yes it isn't always an exact science of getting it from the picture to the page yeah you know yeah you know and, and i tend to notice there are things like Again, that don't translate the same. That you may have to adjust. Yes, yes. From from the again from the photograph to the art, to the art. something just different, mm-hmm. and it, it becomes this process of figuring it out. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a puzzle. Everyone yeah. is a puzzle, and you got to mm-hmm. put the pieces together. Yeah. Fun. The little the little cleanups and the little details, absolute favorite part. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's the, I love that part. The mm-hmm. beginning part. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> like, like, yeah, the beginning part is like uh, you know, laying down like, that foundation. Yeah, yeah, is yeah. always like mm-hmm. it, it, it's it's the beginning, and it, and it is it's not that much fun for me either. But yeah. it, it's so important. It is because as is. you build on top of it, if mm-hmm. there is a screw up, mm-hmm. you'll find it. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. You know, you have them days where because um, some of these portraits have taken me close to eighty hours. You know, hundred hours. Wow. I'm do working two hours a day, four mm-hmm. hours maybe six hours on the weekend. Right. And, um, totally lost what I was oh, saying. Right. Sorry. Yeah. And, um, what were you saying? I just blanked out. So um, we, we're, oh yeah, no, we, uh, this could all be cut and oh, okay, snapped yeah, yeah. and oh, done right, all, all sorts of fun stuff. We could just flow. Yeah, okay, it'll, it'll, no, no, that's fine. We were talking about, um, um, like the, the, the process of the drawing. Oh, the and building, the building, yeah, and so, yeah. Yeah, just like you said, we, we, you know, you lay out the foundation, and now I know what I was going <laughs> You look at it by the third day, you're like, ugh, I, I want to scrap it. And you know what mm-hmm. I mean? You get frustrated, you see the eye, and you're just like, uh. But patience, that's what I learned. I just stick with it, stick mm-hmm. with it, and then, you know, by day 40, <laughs> you're like, <laughs> yeah. you know what? It's starting to look like, you know, the mm-hmm. way I want. The mm-hmm. beginning process is always hard because, mm-hmm. you know, highlights are off and, mm-hmm. and everything else but do you ever uh like will you ever put a piece let's say you're just like uh can't mm-hmm. look at this one anymore have you ever put a piece and come back to it yes new eyes fresh eyes yes mm-hmm. uh, that's, uh, yeah. I, I highly believe in that mm-hmm. um when i'm frustrated and i've i've i would say in in the history of me doing portraits i might have scrapped two okay out of frustration Mm-hmm. So you also do other mediums as well. Yes. Um, what are some of those? Um, oil painting, mm-hmm. acrylic. Um, I love charcoal. Charcoal is yeah. I, I love charcoal. Um, pan pastel, which is another one that I really love. Um, um, just about every paint you mm-hmm. think, yeah, any anything with paint, mm-hmm. um, I, I dive in each direction. Gotcha. So I, yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with anything with paint. <laughs> 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 but I, I mainly now work with um, with um, oil, and mm-hmm. it, as of recently with spray paint too. Okay. I've been working with spray paint, which okay. is very enjoyable. So. What kind of stuff are you doing with that? Um, stencil. When I do my oh, stencil okay. work, yeah. Nice. So the last gallery. Okay. Yeah, I would draw the picture, cut it out. Mm. So, so process, but I like yeah. the, the final results are, are kind of cool. So. Yeah, yeah, I, I just did my first stencil not that, not that long ago. Mm-hmm. I just tr- tried a Marilyn Monroe one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, they're, they're kind of hard, man. <laughs> it it I, is. Like, yeah, it's a, it's a different, it's a whole different it's thing. It's a whole different ballgame. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a whole different ballgame. And then I, I did, I believe, five pieces or six pieces. By the fifth piece, I was an expert. Right. <laughs> by the by the last piece, I was super expert, and I was mm-hmm. it. So, so I I might revisit that again. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely. And is it if I getting this right that you did some some paintings on pizza boxes? Oh yeah, um, yeah. gift boxes. Okay. Cardboard. I love cardboard. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I drew on everything, every and anything, anything that I seen blank, and I'm like, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, on everything. In school, you know, sometimes it's got me in trouble. You yeah. know, I draw on everything, man. Mm-hmm. Like when I say everything, we get the test 
any any blank pit all around the page, the whole back of it completely right. drawing. So yeah, I've been obsessed since I was young. No, yeah, yeah. same here. Even yeah. if it was just just this designs. Yeah, yeah. I just had to do something. I was like, you know, create something. Mm -hmm. You know, wasn't looking for any feedback. But, you know, sometimes the teachers would be like, this is good, but yeah. <laughs> this is, this is, the test isn't so good, but right. it's pretty good. So I thought that was always cool. Yeah, I went through a, a phase in school where I would draw mazes. Oh, really? In yeah. Through notebooks. Yeah. And then, like, give them to the, like, it was, it was... Uh, what I didn't, I realized looking back is it was a way of me trying to make friends mm -hmm. in school because yeah, yeah. I was like the quiet art kid. Mm -hmm. So I would draw these mazes and give them to people. To try it's to like, you would try to do it and yes. try to do it. And then before you know it, you know, going to school in New York, there's 30 kids in your class. Yeah, and I got yeah. 30 of them asking me, do me a maze, do me a maze. <laughs> yes. And I was like, this is a problem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it turns into work, Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I, I I would say when I when I um moved up from Jersey, mm -hmm. I did the same thing you know, to mm -hmm. make friends and everything. I would draw, right. you know, you know, hand off pictures to my friends and my buddies, do cartoon strips and stuff, mm -hmm. so, and turn it into the same thing. Do another one. Do are you gonna right. do another uh, episode of this? And right. yeah, that was pretty fun. Yeah, I mm -hmm. um I had yeah. What was um like? What was your comic about? Well. I had a, it's, it's kind of embarrassing. I, I did one too, and I'll share it, so we will be embarrassed together. I had a, a comic strip called Tyrone and Homestump, okay. and there was these two inner city kids, and uh -huh. they would just have these little adventures or whatever. Okay. It was a little graphic sometimes, <laughs> but you know, the, my friends loved it. They they loved it. I would pass them around. They would float around the school. So uh -huh. yeah, I, I did a couple episodes of those, but. It was fun, man. Gotcha. I, I used to leave um, um, little little drawings, you know, leave them there. Mm -hmm. just, I would set them all over the place just to have my name on them. Right. You know what I mean? So people yeah. will find them and be like, draw this. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, yeah. So, gotcha. Yeah, 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 it's fun. It's fun. It definitely was fun. I was always spaced out with drawing. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter yeah. what I was doing. I was, I wanted to draw something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, mine um, was again in, in in middle school, which was this, in the very not PC. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. I had um, <laughs> it was superheroes and a, his sidekick, so it was Magnet Man and the Fat Midget. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and, and Magnet Man was just a thin person, and he had a huge magnet on his head that like made no sense how he could even stand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he just had his his little sidekick. Was literally just six circles, like a circle for his body, and then circles, <laughs> hands, feet, and one head. And he was just, punch. yeah, he was just a little like Donut Hall, <laughs> who would always somehow like save the day with his mm. weight and size. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and the I've, teachers would find those too. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've, yeah, I've been, I've been showing a couple of things that I drew normally. <laughs> you know, they were like, yeah. can't do this. Right. Sorry. <laughs> but it was the language. It was nothing, you know, crazy like that. Right. You know? Yeah. I know. No, but it was all comedy. Like, everything mm -hmm. I did, it was all comedy. It wasn't, like, serious or nothing like that. Right. So, that's why, the, I think that's why the guys, the kids enjoyed it, you know. When I yeah. When I did them wrong, it was funny. So. Oh, no. If, you, yeah. if you're funny in school, that's, <laughs> yeah, like, that was, it's, yeah. I, mean, I was a clown, too, so. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. That definitely... Does it does hope. It does. It's, yeah. it's a survival method. Yeah, yeah. it is absolutely. You fit into you know one of the of one of the archetypes. Mm -hmm. You know, and and that's what gets you through yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. People find you funny. They seem to be drawn to you yeah. some way, somehow. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe in that. Yeah. yeah. So, of your pieces, are there any like that are personal favorites of yours? Um, absolutely. Um, I had a piece called Daughter. It was these caricatures that I drew up, and um, it's it's a pretty much a character sitting down, and you can see the anxiety in his face, and you know all that. You know, it's a lot of um, hard lines and everything, but mm -hmm. you see, you know, kind of solace towards the front because he's writing daughter on the floor, okay. and um, that that is personal to me because I grew up, I have one child, mm -hmm. and you know. 
you get in some trouble sometimes and this mm-hmm. and that, but my daughter always kept me focused, like, you know, right. with my anxiety and with everything else. Mm-hmm. Everything I did right was to prove to her, you know, to, to walk a straight line from my child. Right. And that that's the most personal piece I have. I, I wouldn't let that one go. I'm right. a prince, but I won't right. let that, but <laughs> I can't let that one go. No, I understand that. Oh, yeah. And, um... And I have a couple oil paintings. The Diga I did, I did a Diga, a ballerina one that okay. I, I love because it just came out cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it came out really good, and it took me a while. But that was, I think, that was my first oil painting that I was like, okay, I almost got this, you know. Mm-hmm. So with the mediums and you know how it looked, and I um, varnished it and everything, and it came out pretty sweet. So. Right. That one is pretty close to me too. So from now you work, you work at painting, you do portraiture. On the average, um, like you mentioned it a little bit before, what's what's the process, the length? Um, how long does it take you? For a portrait? Let's say for a portrait, yeah. For a portrait, um, uh, the, the start of it, I, I would say I would, when I start off, I would start uh, maybe four hour session just to get everything aligned mm-hmm. up and just just the, the base right you know and then um I would say what I would draw after during work weeks I would draw two hours maybe three depending how into it I am mm-hmm. and um that would go on for maybe two weeks three weeks depending mm-hmm. how far I have to go with the portrait now are you saying like two three hours per day or per day, okay per day. and mm-hmm. on the weekends um I would do a four-hour session in the morning and maybe a three-one at night, mm-hmm. three-hour session. So, you know, I'll get hours in and jot down the hours. Okay. And, yeah, some, some, it depends on the detail, on the detail how long it would take. Okay. Um, Martin Luther King took me, uh, took me about almost 200 hours at least. Wow. But that one, it wasn't a um, commission. Okay. So I just <laughs> played with it for right. about a year and a half. It was... It was the one you put on the shelf and then you say, oh, no. But he's complete now until I open them and start, <laughs> start working right. on them again. But, yeah. He's, yeah, he's, that one, that one's um, on your Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Great. That's the first one I tried doing pours and oh, okay. stuff like that. And it worked right. out pretty well. That was a pretty good job. Yeah, oh, no, definitely. And one thing, one of your portraits that I, like, really like, I'm sure a lot of people do, but um, the Robin Williams one? Robin Williams, yes. And now uh, there's... Yeah. There's plenty of reasons to like that portrait. Yeah, yeah, thank you. The, the one that, um, the thing about it that stands out to me is, other than liking Robin Williams. Mm-hmm. I, love, I love Robin Williams. <laughs> looking at it from like an artist's perspective, mm-hmm. what first went through my mind is, okay, um, you have, you could have chose non-bearded Robin Williams. Yeah, I, I probably <laughs> wish I did. <laughs> By the time I was done, I probably wish next time I'm drawing him without beard. Right. Definitely. But I, I was admired and was impressed that you, because you know that's the harder road. Oh man! Yes. But it came out amazing. Like oh, I, I, like beards. I've done beards, that's and you know it, it is. It's just like. Nightmare. Nightmare. Yeah, yeah you know, it, it, it can throw a wrench into it. Yeah, that, that process, I tell you what, um, that process was slow, and I learned mm-hmm. as I went. Because uh, Robin Williams was uh, maybe another one that was about a year in the making. He was just mm-hmm. always on the side. And it was the beard that, uh, he was done. He was completely done. Right. It was the beard. You go in, and uh, I don't know, and then... You know, everything I tried, but the paper was so forgiving. Like I said, the Bristol right. board, and I think that was the first Bristol board that I've used. Okay. Smooth. And it was so forgiving, you know, and it, it worked out pretty well. But I'm pretty sure if I crack Robin Williams open, I'll be at the beard again. Okay. So sometimes you got to just learn when to step yeah. back. Never happy. You know, I'm never, nah. never happy, so. No, that, that's that's mm-hmm. the real artist. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, just... yeah. But he's he's another one that uh, uh, I hold dear mm-hmm. to. I love Robin Williams. Right. He, I thought he was the funniest man in the yeah. world when I was a kid. Yeah. You know, and um, yeah, definitely, definitely another one that I hold dear to me. Mm-hmm. Did you um did you do that portrait um before he passed or afterwards? Right, right after he did. Okay. Right after he did. Right. Um, 
there was um, another one I did too, um, David Bowie. Oh. I did. Okay. And I did him on, on black paper with mm -hmm. like pencil chalk. And um, I, I like that one a lot too. The reason being, I, I never listened to David Bowie's music. Doing a portrait, I put his music on. Right. I became a huge fan. Mm. I'm a huge David Bowie fan now. Nice. So yeah. So this leads into another question I like to ask artists, which is, um, so do you, you do you listen to music regularly when you work? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, of course. I, I've I've uh, learned so much music because of art, mm. jazz and and rock, and just you know sometimes even at work I ask people suggestions, throw me, throw me somebody that I could listen to, you know, right. and um, I love it, I, oh man, that is like, I'm in my own world, mm. put my earphones on, and I just dive right in, it's the best, best feeling in the world, I, yeah. I love doing that, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, and I, I, I like to ask artists that, I've asked many of them who've been on, yeah. and um, because I can't not listen to music, yeah. or at least something, you know, while I'm working, like they're, you know, there are moments when I can see myself like tuning it out because mm -hmm. I'm not zeroing in yeah, on yeah, yeah. what you're doing. But to have that there, and, and like you said, like I've learned so much music mm -hmm. by just throwing something on, whether it's you know uh, on the computer or, or put a CD in that's new. Like I may have bought yes, a new CD and throw yes. it in. Um, and it does. It, it to me, like, it lubricates it the whole does. thing. Oh yes, definitely. I mean, it's a medium on its own. You, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just, it's just. Um, there's certain sounds. I mean, when when I'm doing an actual portrait, I tend to stay on the same album. Okay. Yeah, and it's weird because then I know these albums word by word <laughs> by the time right. I'm done <laughs> because it, it it keeps me in the groove. And when all else fails, jazz. That's 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 my like number one go to. If I'm not really feeling it or get into it, you know, I'll put some old school jazz and okay. yeah, it, it suits me very well. Who do you listen to jazz wise? Oh man, I I listen to everybody. I love Dave Brubeck, um, Coltrane. Oh, okay. You know, um even the older stuff, Dizzy Gillespie and, and um Billy Holiday. Mm -hmm. I, I just love the old feel of jazz, even swing music, you know, Sinatra and yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. King Cole. And, mm -hmm. and I love I love these guys. You know. I just got a couple of days ago a Brubeck C D. Yeah, he's um, awesome. That I've been um like just pining for because I had it on um the name of the record is The Real Ambassadors. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I had it on vinyl, but it's beat you it's know, it's beat up. Yeah. And listen to like vinyl while you're doing art. Is a little annoying, only because <laughs> you gotta flip it oh, okay, every yeah, twenty yeah. minutes or fifteen yeah, minutes. Yeah. You have to, so where a CD will just go. Yeah, yeah. I so like, off, yeah. I thought like this is so cool. I'm so artsy. I'm listening <laughs> to vinyl and drawing. <laughs> but yeah. what, after about like two or three records of having to stop yeah. every twenty minutes like, and go I'm flip it, I was like, screw this. <laughs> CD <laughs> <over> is. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I, I put on um, um the Apple Music. I'll do playlists. Okay. You know, see, some sometimes things don't work, and you're just like, "What am I listening to?" And um, I think mm -hmm. the last, the last, um, my last gallery I listened to, there's a group called um, The Dead Can Dance. I don't know okay. if you ever heard them, right. and they're awesome. These these guys mm -hmm. are awesome. Little trippy tribal mm -hmm. kind of music, but yeah, that was Sweet. the last, the last one I listened to. That I was, they're good. They're awesome. Right. If you get a chance to try to pitch, I know them, definitely. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, we'll have to mm -hmm. do that. And yeah, like I, I find that, like you were saying, that depending on what I'm drawing, or what I'm doing, if it's a collage or drawing or whatever, there are certain groups or genres that will kind of bring the inspiration Absolutely. out a little bit better, Absolutely. depending on what you're yes. working on. Absolutely. You know, like with my like cross hatching ink stuff for whatever reason. I'll tend to like, I won't always, but the what brings the best out of me is like old jazz, like yeah, from yeah. 30s back, mm -hmm. yeah. or just like old time scratchy blues yeah, yeah. will do it for me too, because somehow it puts me in this space that the other tunes don't, don't yeah, and it, it's conducive to doing the art that I want to do. Absolutely, yeah. It, it, it definitely sets the mood. 
and the zone and you know mm -hmm. and for your concentration too it, it, it'll zoom you in which you know sometimes other music doesn't what you change <laughs> you right. change up try to find something that works for what you're doing but mm -hmm. I, I totally believe in that yeah I, I mm -hmm. totally believe in that no it's cool because there were it's funny everybody is so different mm -hmm. there are people I've come across that I can't have need total silence yeah which I like I can appreciate it, but like I wouldn't ever be able to do it. Yeah. Because it would, it would be tough for me, you know? Yeah. yeah. But, you know, it's, so it's everybody, you know, everyone everywhere in between, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I couldn't do it either. I, yeah. I, not, not necessarily try, but I caught myself like, why is it so quiet? Yeah, yeah like, exactly. Oh, I that's, forgot the that's, music. Yeah. That's what happens. Like, if I can hear my pencil... <laughs> yeah, there's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I totally agree with yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Something, you know, I try to maybe overthink it. Mm -hmm. But now, like, you know, I grew up in a place where there was noise all the time. Yeah. You know? And I moved up here. Silence was really weird to me. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. And um, maybe that has something to do with it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, well, I'm, I'm from the city, so okay. it's, it's noisy. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's never quiet, especially in my house. So <laughs> it was, it's always commotion or something mm -hmm. going on. So yeah, silence is is kind of awkward to me as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, working with music is definitely <laughs> yeah. move for me. I agree. <laughs> yeah. So how long have you been up here in Pennsylvania? Um, I've I've been here a year. Um. This January 4th, so I've been here for a little over a year, but I okay. went to high school um, in East Strasburg. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got sent up here when I was younger, um, up in Bushkill, and I went to East Strasburg High School, and um, really good experience, really nice experience. The people well, up here are wonderful, you know, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, life happened, mm -hmm. and then I, you know, Facebook, you know, right. bumped into some old friends, and I found my way back up this way. Well, yeah. Cool. I love it up here. That's, this is this is a place for me, man. Gotcha. <laughs> I, I love it up here. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So where, where where exactly did you grow up? Um, I grew up in Elizabeth. Well, I was okay. born I was born in Newark, New Jersey, and okay. I grew up on the borderline of um, Newark and Elizabeth. Okay. Um, inner city, but um, gotcha. Half and half, you know, half sticks, half right. Rural, rural city. Yeah. And um, it was it was it was a nice place growing up. Yeah, I can't mm. complain. Yeah, you know, it's a little crazy over there sometimes. Yeah, but, but you know, every everywhere has crazy. Exactly. You know, but um, yeah, I'm I'm happy here though. This is my new home. So cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Mm -hmm. cool. Thank you. Yeah. Because <laughs> even you know even um, you know your location has so much to do with it mm -hmm. in in terms of creativity. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely, absolutely. Um. I, I believe definitely our past follow through in our art. Oh yeah. Everybody, pretty much, you know. And um, even here when I first came here, I didn't mm -hmm. know this was such an artsy town. Mm -hmm. You know, and then we hit the galleries, and you know, the light bulb went off in my head. Right. And I was like, you know, I, I I have to be in one gallery at least so I could say I've yeah. done. Yeah. You know, yeah. and um, you know, it's working out pretty good. I've yeah. gotten, I've received every nice feedback and you know it, it pushes me to keep working a little bit harder and it's it's worked out too and it's yeah. been a good base yes you know? absolutely especially for the arts because you know as you branch out you got new york's not too far mm -hmm. philly's, philly's not too not far, far. allentown lehigh yeah. valley's right there mm -hmm. so it's it, you it, you it's it's we found ourselves in this mm -hmm. weird middle yeah we're area in the middle bubble <laughs> yeah and and it's up to you whether you're gonna, you know, spread your wings and right. and drift away, you know, drift out a little bit, mm -hmm. which I'm I'm want to do, you know what I mean? Right. Hmm. What was the name of Shalom's gallery? Oh man, there's like this one like cr crazy cool but sick. whacked out yeah. gallery down there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not connections, is it? That might oh, be another one. You might. Uh, I'll have to look it up. Because yeah, okay. that's if 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 not um, if. He's because he's like a lot of the gallery is his own work. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know how much he gets outside people. Yeah. yeah. Like um, we had gone there and I showed him my portfolio, mm -hmm. 
And it was just like, the whole thing was just a trip. Yeah. <laughs> because, and we've gone through it on the show before, but I'll tell it quick again. We're like, we go to this place and um, we were told to like ask for Shalom. So like, it's like this one name <laughs> kind of thing, <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. So there's this dude sitting there at the front and there's about 25 square um, canvases with faces made out of children's toys and like broken oh. broken instruments and stuff. Yeah. Faces. And all the faces are supposed to be like specific speakers. Allen Ginsberg, King, you know, whoever they were, there were a lot. Yeah. And on top of all of that, each each canvas had a little speaker behind it. And it was talking as whoever the person was. Wow. And all the whole bunch of them were all going at once. Yeah, okay, like so, yeah. Interesting. So you just walk into this mm-hmm. and it throws you and like we like is you know Shalom here? And the guy's like, Oh, I'll go see. And he just disappears. Yeah. Comes back <laughs> and he says, like, Shalom will see you. Oh, oh. And we're like, all right. So we have to go up these like spooky ass stairs <laughs> in the back. In the, it opens up into this big upstairs, and like there's Shalom's and all the way in the corner, with like this little dog next to him, and he, it's like, it was just, it was such a weird trippy experience. So he actually played the role of Shalom. He totally played. Like, he, totally he was. He he, he was. Shalom. He is <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So interesting. So like we did, like meekly, I like went up to him. And I was like, I have. I just felt like such a slug, you know. <laughs> my I had my my portfolio, and like his whole upstairs is just open. It's just one big room, yeah. full of art. Studio, just studio. the whole yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. like just um, canvases piled everywhere, unfinished work over here, and just all these like thing, like probably like. You know, like 15, 20 deep of just canvases lined up against the walls. Wow. Like, probably things in, that he's been doing, you know, for, for decades. Yeah, you know? Yeah. So he looked at my portfolio, and he was cool, he was nice, but, like, it was just, like, he, the whole build-up to him yeah, yeah. was intimidating. <laughs> I can imagine, man. That's nerve-wracking. Yeah. That's a little nerve-wracking right there. Yeah. yeah. But it, but that was a... I think it was called Connections. Yeah, that was a Connections. Yeah. yeah. Very interesting. But I decided to look that place up, if for nothing else, and just to see some of his yeah, work. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's, it's, you know, it's very unique. Yeah. It's very it's different. Very, huh? very different. Uh, I like that. I, I yeah. definitely like new and different. Yeah, well, that's, the, the, that's the place. Yeah, then, then that's the place yeah. alone. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, I'll double check the name of it okay. and confirm it with you. But but yeah, yeah that I would be a cool that. spot yeah, to stop down that there. That sounds cool. That yeah. place and the Charles Williams Gallery. Charles Williams Gallery. That's a whole. That's a whole another trip. Yeah. Really? That's amazing. It's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Do yeah, yeah this dude's gallery is in his in his house. Okay. And um, when we, again, like it was Isaac's grandfather was showing me around um, Easton to mm. kind of get me into some of the places. And we go in one place. I'm like, this dude's got a kitchen in his gallery. It's weird. <laughs> and I'm looking around. I'm like, and there's a bed there. Like, what's with the bed? Yes. What artistic, like what? Yeah, yeah. And then, like the more I look around, I'm like, this is this dude's house. Yeah. And it's just all open. And there's he has this big room in the back. That's the gallery. That's the gallery. And when you come in, he like says the same thing to everybody. He's like, he goes, everything's for sale except for my dogs. That's cool. So like, it's, it's, I think part of the arts process, you meet a lot of fun characters. Yeah, yeah. You meet a lot of people that are out there, but I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Too, you know, I, I like people who live the way they want to live and act the way they want to act. Yeah. You know. That's awesome, though. Yeah. Awesome no. story. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I definitely recommend <laughs> yeah, the I'll East End and, and Allentown area. I'll definitely check those. Absolutely. So, so, what are you working on now? Anything what, what's um, new coming? Right now, I have uh, an event coming up. Um, not me, man, per se, um, the curator. Mm-hmm. In November, it's a, a jazz show. And um, I'll be working on like five or six jazz pieces. Okay. Coming up, and um, wow. these are all going to be mixed media. Um, okay. I'm actually going to be showing my first uh, watercolor 
have nobody's oh, ever seen my watercolors. Nice. And I'm doing one portrait, and probably the rest will be um, oil paintings. And I'll okay. do one with caricatures. But it's all um, jazz. The theme is definitely jazz. And I'm, I'm looking forward cool. to that because I've been dying to do some jazz pieces. As, as you do, man. Yeah. yeah. No, I just... Yeah, yeah. Your, your stuff is... In, this is incredible, man. Thank you. Yeah, the, the Donegan one. Now that one... There are just... Maybe you feel this way sometimes, too. And, and it's not an ego thing. But mm -hmm. there are times when I'm working on a piece. And, like, sometimes you're... You are you don't know how it's going. And, there, yeah. are and there, there are times for me when I'm working on a piece. And I just kind of know, like, okay, the stars are aligning on this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. And I absolutely. better not screw it up. Yeah, absolutely. Because this, this one will be a good one if I could pull it off, mm -hmm. you know? Absolutely, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's that's kind of nerve-wracking. Yeah. When you're so on and you're yeah. just like, you know, <laughs> and, and you know, you, you, you'll say it sometimes. You'll work and then you'll come upstairs like, I had mm -hmm. a bad session. Yeah. I'll wait till tomorrow, that, mm -hmm. you know, and I'll just step away. When I'm when I start getting frustrated, I just step away. Yeah, and, yeah as do and, I. And see how tomorrow yeah. feels. But because and there are portraits of like that I was very frustrated with, yeah. and I'd step away and come back like, why was I like yeah, what? Absolutely. Like yeah. I just you realize mm -hmm. you just got too yeah it's, too much. It's the mood sometimes, you know. Um, drawing the thing is when when I started doing portraiture. I didn't realize that this isn't going to take me two hours, yeah. but I'm, I'm I, I was mainly doing caricatures and cartoons. That's quick, right? You know the outcome is like this. Yeah. So I really had to learn patience on on these portraits. And for me, when I first started, it would take two days, three days. Mm -hmm. But um, if if you look on my page, you'll notice from the beginning, from when I started all the way right. until now, the the progression and 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 how I um, became a little more patient. So, mm -hmm. but frustration is definitely, <laughs> you know, that's, yeah. it's kind of hard. And I just waited out. I put it to the side and just waited out. Yeah. You know? Yeah, no, that's too wide. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have to. But like you said, sometimes the stars are aligned and you can't do no wrong. Right. <laughs> and, and it, yeah, but it makes you more nervous. Yeah, it <laughs> does. It does because, you know, you're very. Everything feels sketchy to you. Right. If I do yeah. this, if I mess this up, and sometimes you do something, you're like, I don't like it. That's when I leave. <laughs> you know, that's when I'm like, you know what? Right. But before I proceed and, and really, you know, mess this up, I'll just walk away and mm -hmm. yeah, see what tomorrow brings. Yeah. Yeah, gotcha. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so which, um, if you can get into it, uh, which jazz artists are you working on for this show? Or if you'd rather leave it a surprise, I can... No, 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 um, not at all. Um, I, I would, um, um, I want to do Billie Holiday. I'm gonna, that one's going to be one of my portraitures. That's, that's going to okay. be a portrait. Um, I was looking at Ray Charles. Okay. That's, that's you know, on the wall. He might, he might be the, the watercolor. It depends. And the rest, I'm going to come up with my own my own stuff okay it cool. wouldn't be um nobody famous gotcha you know? i have one that i that i might want to there's there was a cool jazz picture of a guy sitting uh, with a bass with a cigarette and so mm. smoky you know okay. i want to kind of create that vibe so I, I might look into something like that as well but um should be fun yeah so i start working tomorrow <laughs> Actually, okay, cool. yeah yeah Tomorrow I go in and it'll be a month at these things. So hopefully gotcha. it works out well. You know? No, that'd be you know, cool. Yeah, that'd yeah, be cool. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. So we're just like winding up to the end of our time slot here. Okay. But um, where can folks find your stuff? If they um, want to look you up. Um, on Instagram, I am at uh, Rivera underscore art underscore studio. And on Facebook, Jose Rivera. And um, I'm also hanging at the Gamut hmm. uh, Gallery till December, I believe. Okay. And that's pretty much cool. it. Cool. Yeah. And you do, you take commissions? I absolutely do okay. take commissions. And um, I have an email. Uh, can, I, can I say that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, J-R-I-V-51675 at gmail.com. So if anybody's interested, give me an email and uh, we'll work it out. Cool. Yeah. No, that's no, that's awesome, and that yeah. you know, like, again, because this is um, like audit auditory medium, mm -hmm. 
and we're talking about visual art. Yeah, 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 yeah. I always want to make sure that people can can, actually can find and, and all your info will be like um, underneath the recordings awesome, and, awesome. and listed there, oh, that is so great. people can just boom. So yeah, and um, did you have a a date for that jazz show or not? Uh, you? you can I'll, get back to me. On yeah, that. I'll get back to you. On okay, that one, and I have to give you the information. As well. Okay, cool. I'll, cool. I'll speak to the lady tonight. All I'm right, home. awesome. It's cool. not here though. Further out, might be even in Easton. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fine. So, uh, I just did um like a show in Staten Island. Oh yeah. Again, yeah. Uh -huh. So I'll travel. <laughs> that was awesome. a jazz show. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. That's I, awesome, man. Yeah, I, I wrote, I sat down and wrote to like every jazz club in New York, just why not? Just yeah. email everybody, and um, a, f a handful got back to me, but one of them was a newer thing on Staten Island, and um, I had never had a, my art shown on Staten Island, my hometown. Yeah. You know, because I really didn't get to the level of showing yeah, until yeah, I came yeah. here. So Jose, like the ability to do a show. In my hometown, oh, dude, like nobody could have showed up, I would have been just as happy, yeah. just for for me, for you. you know. Like, yeah, yeah, man. that's that's an incredible story, man. Yeah, that was that's cool. Good. Very inspiring too, that you pushed. And, yeah. You know, I, I believe I have to be a little more like that, man. That's inspiring. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's, push it's for what you want, kind man. of thing. Like, you, what do you got to lose? That's like yeah, I I hit yeah. that wall. Yeah. Like it took me to to get to that point. Mm -hmm. Be like, well, eh, what's the difference? Yeah, yeah. Facing sometimes, you know, facing rejection is like, oh. Uh, yeah. But now I, I'm definitely at that point too. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah. Say no, or we're not interested. Right. And okay. the art world is a place where you get you gotta get used to it. Yeah, quick, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. You gotta have a kind of thick and, skin. Yeah. Definitely, I'm, I'm learning that. Yeah, because there's all like, for the people who like love it. There's going to be someone who's going to find something. Oh, yeah. You know? I know. Goodness, yeah, I know. I believe me. And, um, you you know, you try. Because every artist, we're our, worst, our own worst critic, I believe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm definitely my worst critic. And, um, you know, sometimes hearing a little jab at your art, you know, yeah. it's, it's, oh, it it's kind of... Uh, it does take much. <laughs> yes, you know, yeah. It, there, just a little jab and it'll throw you, you know, it'll set you back. And make yeah. You angry and, yeah. you know, you want to hand them the pencil, then show me how to do it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> show me, Mr. Yeah. Artist. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you you know, I'm, I'm learning to grow thick skin. Um, my, my girlfriend... Hmm. Is brutally honest with me when it comes okay. to art. Yeah, and, and you know, sometimes when I need a little inspiration, even though if I get upset, which normally I do, okay. <laughs> but it, it keeps me right. fighting harder and I do it purposely, you know. Right. You know, I'll go there and she'll just, you know, wail on it. Right. You know? But um, she pushes me. She definitely pushes no, me. No, that's. So. that's but like to have the honest opinion of someone oh, yeah. who's not a stranger. Yeah, so absolutely. So you know yeah. it's coming from yeah, a place. Yeah, it's coming from all, from the heart. You right. Know? And um, I I I I do it just to it, it just pushes me like mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to my studio right now. I'm gonna yeah. show you so bad. <laughs> Sometimes that's what you need, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really is. You know, but hearing it from a complete stranger. It's, it's, it's not only nerve-wracking, but, I mean, as, as well as you know, because mm -hmm. you, you do galleries as well, it's it's a little nerve-wracking. Yeah. It, it is. You know? I've gotten, like, I've gotten it on um, Instagram, too. Yeah. Because there, like, there's no consequence. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's... So people will just curl yeah, whatever yeah. they want. Yeah, and I've gotten yeah. some good ones that I've learned to, like, have fun with them. Yes. Rather than yes. yeah. be upset about yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And like screenshot them mm -hmm. and save them somewhere yeah, yeah. just to go back and laugh at. Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, to me, I, I believe we all need a little bit of criticism. Right. But, it, you know, some people don't know how to, you know, use constructive criticism. They'll just be, you know, not brutally honest. I think like somewhat mean. Right. You know what I mean? Um, you know, there, there's times you hear uh, his lips look off or, you know, the nostril looks... And, you know, you, you put so much work into it. And, right. You know, but, you know, you got to learn the, to ease back. And, you know, that's yeah. only one opinion. Right. Opposed to the, the other 40 people that said that. that yeah. That's an awesome right. picture. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, and truthfully, know. like, faces, like, especially when you start drawing them, they're not symmetrical. and They're not oh, even. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, absolutely. 
eyes are different, no, nose and nostrils mm-hmm. are different, and it really, a lot of times, it isn't until you're that intricate in yeah, them that yeah. you realize, like, geez, and you draw it, and like for me personally, like, I'll draw it the way it is, mm-hmm. and it, you know, where that subtlety of um, just like a miss, you know, not. I can search for the word, but just the the, the apparition in their face mm-hmm. that doesn't like it, it stands out more in the drawing because yeah, yeah. now you're just working in black and white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it turns from subtle to glaring. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, oh, yeah, what are, you know. yeah. How do, I, how do I fix this or? or but yeah, I, I totally, I totally get that. <laughs> but um, yeah, like it's like I said, man, you gotta take the good with the bad yeah. and accept it. Keep doing your thing, you know. Mm-hmm. That's Definitely. all we can do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Jose, like, this has been amazing. This is. I'm amazing, so glad man. you did the show. <laughs> it was so cool to meet you and then get you on so soon. Thank you, thank you. No, um, this was fun. You're an amazing artist too, man. No, just, thank just you. I appreciate it. This this has been an honor, man, and a pleasure. And you guys are cool, man. Awesome. Cool. Now I hope we get the chance to work together a lot oh, more. Oh, we definitely will, man. Cool. We definitely, definitely will. And thank you, everybody out there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. This has been awesome. <laughs> cool. Thanks again, man. All right. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the Planet Shivers podcast. This production and others can be found on iTunes, SoundCloud, and archives.org. It can also be found with video content on the Albert Shivers YouTube channel. You can find even more content on Facebook at Albert Shivers Visual Artist and on Instagram at Albert Shivers. You can find Isaac Wilson's work on Instagram at when in Zen. That's when underscore in underscore Zen. Thank you again for listening, and don't forget to like and subscribe.